<laughs> What's that you're reading? Don't tell me my sweet little cupcake is reading the historical romances again while I'm out picking mushrooms. Oh, darling, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of you. It's sweet, really. You've always been very sweet and affectionate. You always write to me when I'm traveling. You're just a romantic little bunny, aren't you? You want to love and be loved with all your little heart. And I find that so charming. You don't have to close the book when I walk in. I like watching you read. Especially when you read something that flusters you. Maybe I should read it to you out loud. There's some witchy books I have that are a lot more detailed than these historical accounts. But I already know which one is your favorite. Don't look away. I'm not here to deride you. Quite the opposite. You've worn down the chapter on Duchess Margaret of Yonder, eh? You must read it quite often. So interesting that your favorite story isn't one of star-crossed lovers or lengthy courtships, but just a couple, a noble woman and her consort, who went into their bedchambers and never came out. Detailed lists in the lady's handwriting, instructing her servants to deliver more rope, more wedding cake, candles, blindfolds, whips. Detailed instructions about how no woman should be allowed to enter the castle, lest they seduce her love. Fifty years of it until the Duchess of Yandere passed, and her lover soon took sick and joined her, buried in the same grave. In that world beyond the shadows, where they were reunited, what ropes and whips do they use there? <laughs> Just musing, my love. But that is the sort of romance that quickens your heart, is it not? I may not have a jealous bone in my body. After all, I know what's mine and what's not. But perhaps you'd like it for a change if I spent a day or two giving you my full attention. Pampering you, torturing you. Two sides of the same coin, really, when you really, really care about someone. When you've got to get under someone's skin so they can feel your love in their bones. That love? Well, drastic measures are suddenly on the table. I brewed this up last week. Didn't know I'd catch you reading historical romances again so soon. It's Lady Yandere's own love potion. She was drinking two vials a day by the time of her wedding night. Why don't we just try it out for a change? What's a little rope burn after all? Ooh? Ahem. <clears throat> I can already feel the effects. It's warm in my chest. Heart rate picking up. My lips. Tingle. This potion is very strong. <clears throat> Are you ready to be pulpit, my wolf? Oh no. My voice. It's gone out woo. This isn't scary at all. Babe, please. I can't stop. I'm twying and twying, but everything comes out all goofy. Is it something I ate that's messing with the potion? I didn't have anything for breakfast, but a banana. Oh, maybe, maybe one of the bitches in my circle cursed me with a woe and a woo and oh no, I think it's getting worse, nya. Yeah? I feel so silly. Can you please give me hat pads? I mean, hap, hap, he pats, he pats until it goes away. Thank you, Uwu. Would you still love me if I was just silly? I try to act like I know what I'm doing, but... Wee wee, I don't know what's going on most of the time. I try my best, but sometimes I feel so stupid. Like this. Oh, the other wit. The other wit. It's hard to say. The other ladies with the pointed hats. They would laugh at me, but you didn't laugh at me. That's very, very sweet. And the heat pads are very comforting. Actually. I'm very hungry. Can we get another banana? This might qualify for the worst thing I've ever recorded in my life. Maybe one of... Maybe one of those bitches in my circle, because... Maybe 
every one of the bitches in my circle because... Oh, God. I try and... I try to act. Oh, do you also wear... Do you also wear it's hard to say? Do you also wear these? What do pointed hats? I think it's getting worse, yeah? <laughs>